of surveillance video of the moments leading up to that deadly bar shooting in Broad Ripple over the weekend. Our Amber Grigley joins us in studio right now with the latest Amber. Well, Nicole Travis Rogers tells me he just took over land sharks in October and thought he was finally reaching a point where business was starting to get back on track. He says he had just filed for an extension for his liquor license a month ago. Now, due to the shooting over the weekend today, he was informed his license had been revoked. And every time it's just like that weight on your shoulders that I'm going to have to look at this again. I got to watch my friend in his last moments over and over and over again. Nearly five minutes of footage, Travis Rogers says he never imagined sifting through. He wasn't in the bar, but maybe four minutes and 30 seconds. To search for answers as to what happened Friday night that ended his friend of 15 years life and damaged his business. So see, here she comes in entering into the bar. He follows directly behind her, reaches inside of her shirt, inside of her bra. And at this point here he is when he pulls out the pistol. Right now, a 25 year old male suspect is in custody for the shooting. But after looking through the video, Roger says the female he was with played a huge role in this as well. She brought it into the establishment. Although we hold ourselves accountable, we can't be the only one to blame in this situation. You know, he has to be held accountable. She has to be held accountable and it can't just be on us because closing down us as an establishment isn't going to fix the problem. Court documents say the female said an argument started and the suspect carried the gun in the bar in his coat pocket and started shooting. Come this way, walks around, and then starts firing. Now I asked Rogers his bar's security protocol for entering. He says they check ID, want customers down before a pat down. But in this case... It's a very delicate situation when, you, when it comes to a woman and, and her areas that are, you know, that are private to her, you can't just grope or, you know, take things a different way because then you're dealing with a different type of legal situation. Now, we are not naming the 25 year old male suspect at this time until he has been form formally charged. Now, he was supposed to appear in court this morning, but he has been moved till tomorrow for that court hearing.